in this session, I'll be going through numbers and algebra, and under this topic, I'll, go, I'll be going through Bodmer's lowest common multiple as well as highest common factor. So for Bodmer's, we need to follow this rule, B, O, D, M, A, S. So we start by solving the brackets first. And if you in, see in this question, there's a bracket uh, within 2x minus 1, so we need to multiply this 4 to 2x, and 4 to the minus 1 here. So for the next step, we will write down 3, Minus 4 multiplied by 2x will be 8x. And then 4 multiplied by minus 1 will be minus 4. And then right now we need to take note of the negative sign that is before the 4. So solving this, 3 minus 8x. And then you notice that there's a minus sign before the bracket and a minus sign with the minus 4, right? So I need to minus and minus together will give me a plus sign. So this becomes plus 4. So with that, my answer is 7 minus 8x. And then moving on to the next question. Same thing, we need to follow the same rule, botanus. We can multiply 3x to x, and this 3x to minus 6 here. So we'll get 3x squared minus 18x, and then minus 5x. Similarly, there's a minus and minus sign here, so it becomes a plus 30. And then we copy down the whatever that's remaining. And then I can simplify this minus 18x and minus 5x to get minus 23x. Plus 30 minus 18x. And there's another bracket here, so we need to solve this bracket. x times, my, x times 3x will give me 3x squared. And then minus x times minus 4 will give me a plus 4x. So you see here that this 3x squared and this minus 3x squared will cancel out. And then I just need to solve the rest. Minus 23x plus 4x will give me minus 19x plus 30. So my answer is minus 19x plus 30. And then moving on to lowest common multiple. We, the question says that Tom, Sam and Matt complete one lap of a circular track in 12. 15 and 18 minutes respectively, and they start together at the same time. So they run in the same direction and maintain the same lap times. And the question asks, how many more laps will Tom have completed than Matt when all three of them next meet on the starting line together? So for this question, there's three numbers, 12, 15, and 18. And with that, we need to find the prime factors that for these numbers. So 12 divide, I divide by all the prime factors first. 12 divided by 2 will give me 6. Divide by 2 again will give me 3. Divide by 3 again, it will give me 1. So 12 will equal to 2 to the power of 2 times 3. Whereas for 15, 15, will equal to, 15 is equal to 3 times 5. And then for 18, I will get times 3 to the power of 2. And then, in order to solve this question, we need to find the lowest common multiple of 12, 15, and 18. And we need to take the highest power of whatever that's um, common between these three numbers. So we need to take 2 to the power of 2 times 3 to the power of 2 times 5. And simplifying this, I will get 4 times 9 times 5 which equals to 180. So this is the lowest common multiple. So the lowest common multiple is 180 minutes for uh, between these three numbers. And then the question asks, how many laps will Tom have completed than Matt? So since Tom takes 12 minutes for one lap, 180 divided by 12 will give me 15 laps. Whereas for Matt, he takes 18 minutes for one lap. So 180 divided by 18 will give me 10 laps. This means that the Tom will have completed 15 minus 10, which is 5 more laps than Matt. So answer for this question is 5. Yeah. And then moving on to the next question about highest common factor. They say express 10, 12,600 as a product of its prime factors. So we use the same method. Twelve thousand six hundred divided by two will give me six thousand three hundred. If I divide by two again, it will give me three thousand one hundred and fifty. And then three 
3150 divided by 2 will give me 1575. 1575 divided by 3 will give me 525. Okay, then 175 divided by 5 will give me 35. I divide by 5 again will give me 7. 7 divided by 7 will give me 1. So in total, 12,600 is equal to 2 to the power of 3 times 3 to the power of 2 times 5 to the power of 2 times 7. So this will be my answer. And then for the next question, it says that 14,700 equals to 2 squared times 3 times 5 squared times 7 squared. And then the greatest number that will divide 12,600, 14,700 and x exactly is 70. So 70 actually refers to the highest common factor. And we should first find out what is 70 represented in its prime factors. So 70 is actually equals to 2 times 5 times 7. And then we already found out from the previous question that 12,600 is equals to 2 cubed times 3 square times 5 square times 7. And question mentioned that 14,700 is equals to 2 square times 3 times 5 square and times 7 square. And then we have the last number x that we should want to find. And then the question said that what are the least possible values of x? And in order for 70 to be the highest common factor, right? 2 times 5 times 7 should be the only factors that are common between these three numbers here. So in this case, we know that x has, must have a 2, 2 to the power of 1, times 5 to the power of 1, times 7. So in this case, x is equal to 2 times 5 times 7, which gives me... 70. So my answer is 70. And with that, we have come to the end of this session and see you in the next one.